part two of the Q&A. Yes, it ran that long because these answers are being late, kind of late. I try to keep them short, but sometimes I need to, exp I don't know, this is kind of interesting. I've never done a Q&A, so this is pretty interesting stuff. Um, so I've got a, quite a few questions left for part two here, and that's it. So hope you enjoyed part one. Uh, check that out if you haven't already. So here is part two. Um, Steph Fulton asks, if I had the opportunity to turn Sin Royal into a radio show, would you or would you keep it? Would it you? Would you? Did I copy that right? Would you or would you keep it the way it is? Why she wrote it? Why did you write it like that, Steph? Steph, what? What? Would you keep it the way it is, a radio show? And see. Oh, a radio show. Okay, I was thinking about something else. I was like, a radio show. Okay, with, if, I was thinking about that too. I was thinking about, you know, if it was a, if Cinema Royale was a, a specialty, um, kind of like morning show or a specialty night show on the radio. Um, usually we do it for an hour and a half and I'm trying to think, I don't think they do. Do they do, oh no, they do it longer for an hour and a half. I'm thinking, but I th I'm trying. To, like if I'm, I wouldn't. I wouldn't keep it the same way. Like I would try to do it like what I've done it in the past. Like, like have a topic, you know, and generalize and generally talk about it. In gen and, and sometimes be like movie news too. Like if there's something going on in the news now, we can talk about it you know it'd be like more like a talk show about movies more than what we've been doing with cinema royale now so yeah it'd be like that um that'd be interesting though if i ever because usually with radio they don't want to talk about movies that much so it won't be about see because people listen the radio for music and they want to talk, hear about music stuff, you know, they don't want to hear all about movies. That's why sometimes for morning shows they have like an entertainment segment where they briefly talk about movies and television and that's it. They don't go full detail on that. And I, and I want to change that sort of, like that'd be pretty cool if I had Cinema Royale on the air, on the radio, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, so I wouldn't keep it the same way, I would kind of tweak it so it'd be like a talk show kind of like a morning show kind of feel where it's just banter between us and we talk about what's going on in movies and you know topics in an editorial general fashion not just all of us researching for it like we do now um then i got a whole bunch from teddy uh bear room shots so here are the questions from him um what inspired you to love movies um like I said before in part one, I I grew up with movies as a kid. It was entertainment for for me, you know. You put it on, you watch it, get entertained. Um, that's how I got introduced to it. At least it's not what inspired me to love me love it. Um, I eventually, like I said. I went through the stage where I went through music and then I went back to movies and I guess doing I guess what inspired me to, to love movies is Cinema Royale like I, a group of people talking about movies and you know me going in detail in going deep into movies you know into a movie you know looking at it through the behind the scenes tentacle level you know um, doing the podcast actually opened my eyes to movies a little bit more because uh, when I started it at the time, I didn't know a whole bunch about movies, and that's why I want to do the podcast. So I'm more familiar with it. Like, like I said in the last part, six years ago it was in 2010. I didn't know what cinematography now cinematography was, but now I know what cinematography is and how I appreciate it more. So it, you know what? There's the answer. Cinema Royale inspired me to love movies as much as I do now. Like so much more. Um, let's see. What is one movie you love? Oh, what 
what is one movie that you would love to see get a sequel but Sally didn't? Um, that's an interesting case because sometimes um, sequels can be good or bad. Like there's some good sequels out there. So for a, for a movie that I love to see a sequel of, that's um, that's that's difficult because sometimes. You don't need a sequel for a movie like, um, God, I'm trying to think so bad. It's just, cause sometimes I, I don't watch sequels that much, to be honest. Like I know I talked about sequels in the past and we'll do sequels again coming up soon. Actually, as a little teaser, we're doing another sequel episode, uh, the third one. So it'd be interesting to discuss that but see out of like there's no like out of the classics like the ones I'm thinking about are getting sequels like Top Gun is getting a sequel eventually um um I'm gonna la 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 see 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 there is no movie like the movies that I like they should not have sequels like Drive, for example, with Ryan, Go Ryan Gosling. That should not be. A, there should no be se no sequel for that. That's a good movie. Um, I I I I I can't answer that because there is no there there. Sh for me, a movie that I'd love to see a sequel but didn't get it. It just I I I, I don't seek out sequels like. Uh, I didn't even watch Dumber and Dumber, uh, Dumber and Dumber 2, what, that, that thing, because I liked the first one, I was like, i never seen a sequel, so, yeah, and with me, sequels are just, I never, I never got into sequels that much, like, Back to the Future Part 2 and 3 are the closest, and Beverly Hills Cop 2 and 3 are... More like trilogies I like, get into or have sequels like, I, I got into a little bit more. But I don't seek out, you know, there's so many sequels. There are so many sequels coming out. It's unbelievable. It's like, I don't I don't think I've, I mean, I, of course it's in The Force Awakens. That's, that's a sequel to Return of the Jedi. And it's just, yeah, I think there's so many movies right now with sequels that, that I'm satisfied with, despite a few... Um, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Dis despite your love for pizza. Uh, despite? Despite? That's, I don't know, I think you worded that right. Have you ever eaten New York pizza? Uh, no. I have not eaten a genuine, uh, New York pizza because I've never been to New York. So, um, I've had sort of I don't know no 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 I shouldn't even say that no no why would I cause yeah if New York pizza you have to go to New York to eat the pizza and I've not been to New York, New York so uh the last two are kind of the um the most that's not the most common but it's like interesting questions in general they, they're flip-flopping with each other so the first one is what is a movie that you like but everyone seems to hate uh actually that's that's actually that's actually a pretty darn uh um <laughs> god i you're gonna hate me for saying this okay the one movie that that i like that everyone seems to hate and i i just a lot of that's been almost since I've watched it. I might have to revisit it, but it's Battleship. Like I, when I watched it, I just, I I somehow liked it. Like everybody hates Battleship, but I just when I watched it, I just have this enjoyable feeling watching it. It's weird, but it's I don't know why. I don't know why, but it's just Battleship for me is the film I liked that, that everyone else hates. Yeah. 
What is a movie that you hate, but everyone else seems to like? Um, that one is an interesting case, because... Movie that I hate that everyone seems to like. Mm, uh, I'm trying to think of a movie that I've seen that I hate. But I, I, I there's there is one movie that I hate, but I, but I think there's a mixed reaction to that movie, and I don't think everybody everybody loves it. But I think ah. Uh, film that I hate everyone else hates no a film that I hate and everyone likes so stupid actually I'm just gonna say it because I this is this this film right here this film right here Rock of Ages I don't know why I own it but for some strange reason, I don't find enjoyment in it. But it's, an but it's an interesting case when it comes to a movie. And I hate this movie. Rock of Ages is... This should not never been made. Never been made, and yet some people like it. Like, not everyone likes it, but there's there's a select few people that do like it. I'm thinking, why do you like Rock of Ages? Like, what does it appeal to you? I hate it. I hate it. I hate it so much. Like... Uh, that's the last of the questions, people. Thanks for asking, and I enjoyed thinking about and answering them. So if you want me to do more Q&As, please leave a, a question down below, and I'll do it for a future Q&A. And here's hoping for 495 more subscribers to hit 1,000. Let's go for 1,000 subscribers, people. Let's do this. Otherwise, this is Mike Mixtape saying, adios, amigo.